everyone welcome back to studio 33 art by k today i'm going to be repurposing some little coasters that i've had for a long time that um, we don't like much anymore so i thought i'm just going to give them a bit of a new lease of life they're caught backed and i've just covered them with some masking tape to keep the back clean and the front i'm just going to well i won't have actually just wiped them over with the isopropyl alcohol just to give it a clean surface, make sure there's no grease on there. And what I'm actually trying to do, I've just brought a new set of dinnerware and it's black on the back and the front is this cross between green and yellow. So I've mixed up some colours here, the um, Araldo white with the Araldo sage and global yellow flower and i've managed to get pretty close i think to the same color i think that's very very close so i'm going to do a drizzle swipe rec spin and i'm including some other colors that are sort of the tealy um, and cyan colors because i've got a splash back in the kitchen which is cross between those two and I'm going to add in some of the cool blue as well and some gold and silver. So I'm going to do a black base and we'll see how this turns out. I've got no idea. I haven't done a pre-test or anything on the colours. So hopefully it's going to be something that's going to match in with my um, living area or my dining room. So without further ado, I'm just going to cover the base in the black. This is just the Araldo black mixed with Australian Flow Troll. It looks actually very thick. Sometimes you'll find if you've mixed up your colours um, prior, they do tend to get a little bit thick. But I'm not too worried about that because I do want to cover over that very striking pattern that's on there. And I also want to make sure I've covered my edges so that when the um, drizzle swipe rolls over, it's got something to adhere to and also any bits in between are covered. So let's just quickly do that. And just smooth that over as much as possible. As I say, it is very thick, but I'm not particularly worried about it. Okay. So I'm just going to drizzle the colours over. Now, sometimes if you're um, doing a drizzle swipe, you don't necessarily have to do a base coat. I've decided to do one today um, because of that colour that was underneath. So I'm just going to quickly burst any bubbles here. And now I'm just going to start layering my paints. So I want to um, a bit of this chartreuse colour to come through. So I'll probably put it on the bottom and then I'm also going to put it on the top again as well. I'm pretty happy with how close I got with that actually. It's always hard when you're trying to match a colour, working out you know, which colours to mix to get that colour. And this is a metallic, which is the Araldo Metallic Palm Green. So I've got a couple of metallics in here today and a couple of non-metallics. The next colour is the Araldo Metallic Cyan, or Cyan. Followed by the Araldo Cool Blue. And I'm going to throw in a bit of the Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold, which as you would know by now is one of my favourite colours. Oops. Followed by the Araldo Metallic Silvery with a Y on the end. Just get a few of those in there, not too much. So I've loaded heaps of um, paint on there, but it's going to be okay because I am going to spin this out. And I'm just going back in with my chartreuse colour. 
Make sure I've got enough of that in there. Okay. So next I'm just going to do a swipe. And I think I'll just use a playing card. So I'm just going to load the playing card up with some of the global black. which I've mixed up as a cell activator. So it's basically one part of the black paint to four parts Australian Floetrol. So I've just put it on like that. And now we'll swipe and see what we get. Here we go. Just very gently swiping down. And the gold nearly always gives beautiful cells. Always make sure you wipe the card off in between swipes and use a fresh edge. Just load that up again. And swipe the other side. Again, just very gently. Okay, we've got some beautiful cells coming through there. I think the um, chartreuse colour is kind of mixed with the gold a bit there, so it looks almost like the gold, but that is the chartreuse here and that's the gold there. Um, so maybe if I do this again, I won't put any gold in there so that you can actually see that colour, because it almost looks like gold when it's mixed in there. So now I'm going to do my wreck just with a bamboo skewer. Just do some wrecking lines through here. I like to start in the middle so that you don't lose the beginning of the wreck because that's the part I love the most. I love where you get that, where you just go in there and it gives you that beautiful raindrop sort of effect. And now I'll do one over here as well. Roll it out. The gold's looking absolutely beautiful in there. It's going to end up being very shimmery, I'm sure. And I'll just do a bit of a wreck through there as well. Okay, I won't do too much more with that. So now I'm just going to spin it out. I can see it's very shimmery from the um, Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold. It's lovely. Okay, here we go. And back the other way. And now this way. And one more this way. Okay, well that's turned out quite lovely, actually. Really pretty. So I can see the chartreuse colour. I've got my gold, got the blues, the bit of um, teal coming in there as well. So that's basically the colours that I have in my um, kitchen living area at the moment. So I think that's going to be fine. Okay, so... I might just give it one more spin just to spread it out a little bit more. Just one more each way. Right. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. So I will now bring you down for the close-up. Here we are coming down for the close-up of this very pretty piece. 
I've got all my colours coming through. You can see the gold and the chartreuse does look quite different to the gold now that I've spun it out a bit. I've got my cool blue coming through there, the um, metallic cyan, and the bit of the metallic palm green is coming through as well. So I've got all my colours that I'm after in there. And I quite like the pattern as well. So I'll just um, turn the flashlight on so that you can see the shimmer. Hey. So here we are coming down with the um, flashlight on. And as you can see, it's got a lovely shimmer to it. Where the gold's going through there and the other metallics as well. And it's actually turned out to be a really pretty piece. Yeah, it looks lovely through there as well. All right, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. It was just a very quick one. And um, we'll see you back here very shortly in Studio 33. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.